In the 1930s, 40s and 50s, Tex Glanville was a star of stage and screen. He toured Australia when vaudeville was in its heyday, showing off his talents as wire walker, juggler and rope spinner. Tex is now 79 years old, but still proud of a career which got off the ground back in 1934 when the film production company Fox Movie Tone decided to film one of Tex's most difficult tricks. And here's Tex Glanville, rope spinner extraordinaire. This rather unique talent was shown in cinemas around the country as part of a newsreel, back in those days considered exciting new technology. Tex was never paid for his performance and there was no written contract. He says he simply made a verbal agreement with Fox Movie Tone that the film would be screened on Fox Movie Tone newsreels only and nothing else. Well, for 52 years there was no problem. That was until McDonald's hamburgers came along. Hey McDonald's, what's that you're making? Mm, that's a double beef and bacon. Double beef and bacon, double beef and bacon. Could you run that past me again? Bacon! Yes, that's Tex. And in case you missed it, here he is again, starring in a double beef and bacon hamburger commercial. It's a good time for the great taste. Double beef and bacon at McDonald's. To us, it was sort of exciting to see it, but then we were very distressed because the film belongs to us and nobody asked our permission to use it. Well, I got shocked. Tex, who suffers from a throat illness, was upset he'd received no payment and angry he was not notified he would appear in the four-week television campaign, which went to air in February 1986. In fact, Tex was never contacted because Fox Movie Tone thought he was no longer alive. I've had it. I think they thought he was dead. <laughs> they thought before. you had it, had they? <laughs> I think so, yes. <laughs> He looks like he was a pretty good operator in his day. Oh, he was splendid. He really was the best. Yes. Mm. Tex could do tricks that no one else could do? That particular one that McDonald's took, it's uh, his own invention and, uh, you know, nobody else has ever done it to our knowledge before. The catch is that the film and the rights to broadcast it are owned by Cine Sound Movie Tone Productions which agreed to sell it to McDonald's advertising agency, DDB Needham. So, with no proof of any verbal agreement, Tex Glanville had no right to film of his performance under Australian law. But he still felt he wasn't being given a fair go. Tex asked McDonald's for $1,000, a payment he thought was fair, considering he'd been used to sell McDonald's hamburgers. But the company's advertising agency rejected the claim. Neither DDB Needham, McDonald's, nor Cine Sound Movie Tone Productions would be interviewed on camera. But when we became involved, McDonald's changed its mind. It overrode the recommendation of its agency and decided to pay Tex $350.